The other benefit to doing these is you don't need to use near as much weight. Hey, what's up guys? Gary Walker here with liveanabolic.com. All right, in this video, I'm gonna give you three of the only exercises you need to build your chest. Here's the thing, nothing but dumbbells. So three of my favorites. Here's the thing when it comes to building a chest. There are a ton of different exercises to choose from. It's one of the most popular muscle groups to build. However, people tend to stick to the same exercises. That's good. However, to spark new muscle growth, you wanna change it up and for that reason, I'm gonna give you some unique exercises to help you spark that new muscle growth. So that being said, let's get started. Hey guys, all right, for exercise number one, we're gonna start with an incline exercise. And one point I wanna make with my incline, you'll notice it's not the typical 45 degree incline. The difference with this as an older guy, it's gonna be a lot harder on your shoulders. You've got a lot less shoulder mobility. A lot of older guys have wear and tear naturally on their shoulders. So typically what I like to do is just take it down a notch to about a 30 degree angle and it's a much more natural movement on your shoulders. All right, now that you got the bench set up, I'm gonna show you this first exercise. First one we're gonna be doing is a dumbbell incline squeeze press. The goal here is we're gonna get dumbbells, squeeze them together and you wanna maintain that squeeze. What that does is it creates that pec activation and constant tension in the chest. So you're working your chest throughout the entire range of motion and for each and every rep of the set. So let's show you what these look like. Again, you're gonna get set up here, squeeze these together and maintain that squeeze. Right now my chest is already activated. It's already got tension in it. Nice stretch. Nice contraction at the top. Again, not just pressing the weights up, but pressing them together. Together on the way down, together on the way up, and really focus on contracting that chest. Let me show you a couple more here. Nice and slow, under complete control. Good stretch, all right. So that's gonna be the first exercise. And again, we're applying constant tension to the pec, so it's gonna actually help you build more muscle. The next one we're gonna do is a flat bench. So let's get this back down here. And this one, again, another unique exercise. It's one of the techniques I've created. A lot of you guys have already done some of my Tricon exercises. This is a Tricon dumbbell bench press. So let me explain the breakdown. Nine total reps. A Tricon set is nine reps every time. Basically, the first three are gonna be explosive. Control the weights on the way down. Explode them up as hard as you can. That's for your central nervous system activation. Again, really stimulating that deep muscle fiber in your pecs. You're gonna do three of those. And then three 10 second holds. Those are isometric contractions. So that's the main benefit to doing this. When you do these isometric contractions, takes a lot less stress off of your shoulders, your elbows, and you're still putting a lot of tension in the actual muscle, which is the goal with every exercise. You wanna make sure all the tension is in the muscle and not the joints. So that's what you're gonna do for three. Three 10 second holds, follow that up with three full range of motion slow reps, meaning take four seconds to lower the weight, four seconds to raise the weight. Four seconds to lower, four seconds to raise, let me demonstrate this for you, show you what it looks like. All right, again, set up, nice and slow on the way down. These are your explosive, explode it on the way up. Nice and slow, explode back to the top. Really focus on contracting that chest on the way up, all right? Let me show you what one of these holds is supposed to look like. Right at the mid range of the motion, right here about 90 degrees with your arms. Arms being, upper arms being parallel to the ground, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006, 1,007. So actual 10 seconds, all right? Let's go back to the top. I'll show you what you will do a second time. Again, another 10 second hold right here. The other benefit to doing these is you don't need to use near as much weight. So again, you've got all this tension going on in your chest and a lot less stress in your shoulders and elbows like I mentioned earlier. That would be 10. All right, then you're gonna do three of those. Once you've done your third 10 second isometric hold, 
Now here's the full range of motion, 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004. You'll notice a good stretch, 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004. Now the full contraction at the top. I'll show you one more of those, 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004. Nice big stretch, nice and slow, 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004. Might as well do the last one for you, 1001, 1002, 1003. Four, right back up. One, two, three, four. All right, that's the second exercise. The third one is another bench press, okay? Here's the thing I want you to do with this bench press. Depending on what you need more help with is what's gonna determine which one of these exercises you're gonna do. Meaning, if you need more overall chest thickness throughout the chest, we're gonna do this in a bench press version. If you got good lower chest, mid chest thickness, but you need to focus on a flat upper chest, go back to the 30 degree incline I showed you to do this exact same exercise. Basically, this is another unique exercise. It's a midline bench press. All that means, midline of the body. Take something, split your body in half. That's the midline of your body, a midline bench press. If you notice when we do typical bench presses, you're here, up, here, up. What you're gonna do with these dumbbells is take them to the midline of your body using a neutral grip. So basically from here, you're coming together at the top. Good full stretch, wide stretch at the bottom, midline contraction at the top. So let me show you what this looks like. Again, this is the uh, regular bench press version. So you're out here, Nice wide stretch like a typical bench press, but palms are facing each other here and go towards midline. Right there, you notice a touch, chest is really contracted. Back out, stretch. Back to the midline. Show you a couple more. Together. And together. The cool thing about this exercise is it's actually going to keep tension on your pecs once again typical bench press when you're back here and you're all the way up you lose tension in your pecs at the top there's still tension there however the uh, chest the pecs are designed to go across the body as well that's one of the actual prime movers for the chest you push away and you come across this midline bench press allows you to do both we're pushing away from the body while coming across at the top so it's a perfect stretch perfect contraction to help spark new muscle growth on those pecs but all right those are the three exercises that if you incorporate into your chest routines you will notice a thicker more full chest stronger chest healthier shoulders healthier elbows so do these let me know what you think comment below if you have any questions also implement this workout then come back and comment on that as well because i want to know what you think of the workout these are unique techniques, but they're awesome techniques that are gonna help you, again, spark new muscle growth. Guys, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to the channel and then share it as well. And other than that, that's all I got. Get busy, get after it, God bless.